Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is exciting and also a little bit scary because I'm going to show you guys how I created this look here. This is not my original look. I actually got inspiration from this artist on Instagram, NZ Wrangle. I think that's how you pronounce her username, but I will link her look down below if you want to check her out. Um, so yeah, I just decided I wanted to recreate this look. I saw it and was like, that is beautiful. I want to push myself. And why not make it into a video? So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So to create this look today, I'm going to take my ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. Okay, so I'm going to carve out under my brows and prep my base using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2. And I will be right back to start the look. Okay, so my base is prepped and I've just brought you guys in a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit scared. This look is quite complicated, so... We shall see how it goes, but I'm just gonna try my best because that's all you can do. First, I'm gonna pick up the shade Iconic. I'm using this M443 brush. Honestly, you really wanna use precise brushes for a look like this. Um, I used an E18 here and I just feel like I couldn't get the shape that I wanted. And I'm just gonna start placing that shadow. I'm kind of just drawing the sketch for where I want it to go. So I'm just using this to basically sketch out the lines. Look, look at the difference of that. We can blend it all after, but it's just so much easier to use a smaller brush as a guide. Especially with intricate looks like this, you really do want to be precise from the start because it will make blending so much easier. <laughs> We're basically going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to kind of do it from under the brow and I'm making sure that I'm following where my eye naturally creases so that this does not transfer because this look will transfer on me. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect as well because we will carve these out. Now I'm going to take that E18 brush and I'm just going to start blending that edge. This is one of those looks where it's going to look really terrible as you start and then the more you progress it'll look better so you just really have to trust the process with this one. Next I'm going to dip into the shade Watermark and I'm just going to use that shade to start blending out that darker shade. I'm basically just doing the same thing but just slowly bringing it further in each time. Now I'm going to dip into this shade here called Take It Easel. I don't know if I got that on video because I forgot I stopped my recording, but I just blended out the edge with some light blue. And then I just deepened the dark blue with a teeny bit of black just to add a bit more depth to the look. And now here comes the fun part. We're going to make this actually look cool. <laughs> We're going to carve out these little indents here and make them all sharp and crisp. So I think the way that's going to work the best for this is if I take some makeup remover on a q-tip and just go in and remove the excess then I'm going to go in with my blank canvas paint and sharpen it all up. Okay so I'm just going to take my q-tip and slowly start removing any excess eyeshadow and doing this first is going to mean that there's not going to be a whole bunch of eyeshadow that's going to mix in with my concealer base that I'm going to put down over top and then it just also kind of pre-carves out the line so I don't have to worry too much about shaping. Okay so we've got those lines carved out now we're going to go in with our concealer and do the rest. So I'm going to be taking my P. Louise paint in the shade blank canvas and then I'm going to carve out the lids. So I'm just going in with my brush and just slowly stamping that product on. I am going in with a few different size brushes just so I can really get into the creases just because this is quite a delicate look but for the most part I'm using this P. Louise 7072 brush. Alright so now that we have carved those parts of the eye look out I'm just going to set those with a nude eyeshadow and I want to add some shimmer through the center of the lid. So I'm gonna go with this Peaches Makeup Pigment in the shade Mermaids. And I'm just tapping that down at the center of the lid. Before we progress any further, I'm just going to do my base and then I'll be back to finish the look. All right, my base is on. I love this look so much now that I am seeing it with a full base. So we're just going to finish off the eyes. So I'm dipping back into that shade Iconic mixed with a bit of black. And I'm just running that shade under the lower lash line. And I'm taking that watermark shade and doing the same thing, just blending out that previous color. And then lastly, I'm taking that last shade, Take It Easel, and just blending it all out. 
Next I'm going to take this Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade France. And I'm just running that in my waterline. And finally we have mascara and lashes. I'm going to pop those on and then I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. And here is the finished look up close. And here is the full face. I say this every time but this might actually be one of my favourite looks I've ever done for more technical looks. But I haven't done a look this complicated in a long time and I'm so happy that I pushed myself because I was really scared of this look when I saw the picture I was like Mm, you know what might be a little bit out of my depth, but we've done it and that's what makeup is all about Like if you are in a rut, you're stuck You just have to push yourself even if you were scared because nine times out of ten You'll actually surprise yourself like I did today. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful I was a little bit unsure about how to go about this So I just did it to the best of my knowledge uh, So if you do have any extra questions about stuff that I didn't show on camera Leave a comment down below, I'm happy to answer it or walk you through in more detail. And of course I will link the original artist that I was inspired from in the description below. Uh, check out her look, it's absolutely amazing. And yeah, I'm really happy that I pushed myself to do something a bit more difficult today and record it for a YouTube video because that adds a little bit more pressure than usual. Anyways, if you guys liked this look and you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot by promoting my video to new potential viewers. And if you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. And of course, if you want to see more looks that I don't post here, check out my Instagram at Makeup with Alex. All of my social medias are linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!